two thirds, two thirds majority of GOP voters on Tuesday support Donald Trump's proposed Muslim ban. So Ooh. we are talking Ooh. about deporting and completely banning Muslims and Muslim Americans at that. Like, who knows? The tourists, so these are mainly focused on tourists. Like, you, they want to close the lines completely between any Muslims and our country. And I don't think people understand when they say Muslims, they're talking about an entire religious group. So that's not just one little chunk of the world. We're talking about a huge majority of people. So in Missouri, as many as three quarters of the Republican voters supported the ban. On the other hand, about four in 10 Republican voters in the five states that held primaries on Tuesdays wanted immigrants in the country illegally to be deported. So we're Ooh. talking about two separate groups of people. We're talking about immigrants that are here illegally and living, and then we're talking about a complete ban of tourists that are coming into the country. I can't say that I'm surprised, Tamara. What's really interesting about this, and we see this over and over again with like the Republican Party, it's this idea that they come up with these excuses to justify things that they hate, right? Yeah. So we've seen it with gay marriage. In that case, they said, well, gay marriage uh, is not okay in the Bible, so that means that it's okay for us to hate gay people. And then, you know, of course, if you also look in the Bible, it says many insane things um, that, you know, people obviously don't take word for word. Um, because people wouldn't be serving people who are divorced um, and you know they would probably try to pass some law saying that if you're divorced you know you can't get remarried yeah. but they don't care about that and in this case okay we they don't like Muslims right that's what's really going on here yeah. for whatever reason they don't like Muslims they are against them so they said oh well uh, it's a national security issue you know we're gonna tie it to this ISIS threat, which, you know, if you talk to any national defense expert, ISIS is actually not a threat. You're more likely to die from a vending machine falling on you than, you know, a terrorist attack from ISIS yeah. on U.S. soil. Or and, any terrorist attack at that. It doesn't yeah. even matter who it's from. So this whole idea that, like, oh, they're actually the good guys and we're trying to protect the homeland is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I don't buy it, but... You know, these people are also voting for Donald Trump. So. Yeah. Another interesting thing is about 9 in 10 of G GOP primary voters are saying that they're unhappy with the federal government. So they really do believe that Trump 10. is here to make America great again. They think that he's going to turn everything around and do everything correctly. Yeah. I mean, that's interesting. 9 out of 10. I mean, listen, I think if you looked at um, the, the Democratic side, I think there's a high level of distaste with the federal government uh, and the left wing too. Um, I think, you know, when you look at the polling numbers for what people think of Congress, I mean, currently the way that they're polling, cockroaches have more favorability than Congress. And that's yeah. an actual poll that came out. So, you know, the federal government arguably is not doing its job. I think the right wing and the left wing think it's for different reasons, more crazy yeah. reasons, you know, for the Trump side. But, you know, the bottom line is that's the reason why you're seeing people on the right embracing Donald Trump and on the left, you're embracing Bernie Sanders yeah. I mean, because they're not the mainstream. So that's what we got going on, folks. Can't say that I'm surprised. Let me know what you think in the comments below.